He is known for his extensive studies in medicine, theology, logic, physics, metaphysics, and Aristotle's dialectic. He is recognized for his influential work as a medical author and his contributions to the development of logic and pharmacology. His name is Pedro Giulio, also known as Peter of Spain. Pedro Giulio was a man of many talents and pursuits. Born in Lisbon in the early 13th century, he showed great promise from a young age. His thirst for knowledge led him to study medicine, theology, logic, physics, metaphysics, and the works of Aristotle. He was known for his brilliance and became a respected figure in the academic circles of his time. As Pedro's reputation grew, he found himself in the service of King Afonso III, advising on church matters and representing the monarch's interests. However, Pedro's ambitions reached even higher. He aspired to become the Bishop of Lisbon, but fate had a different plan for him. In a twist of events, Pedro's path crossed with that of Pope Gregory X. Impressed by Pedro's intellect and medical expertise, the Pope appointed him as his personal physician. This marked a turning point in Pedro's life as he gained the opportunity to serve one of the most influential figures in the Catholic Church. But Pedro's journey did not end there. In a surprising turn of events, Pope Gregory X elevated him to the position of Cardinal Bishop of Tusculum, a prestigious title that brought him even closer to the heart of the Church. Pedro Giulio's story is a testament to the power of knowledge and ambition. From his humble beginnings in Lisbon to his esteemed positions in the Church, he proved that with dedication and a thirst for learning, one can rise to great heights. His legacy as a scholar, physician, and cardinal continues to inspire generations, reminding us of the importance of intellectual pursuit and the impact one person can have on the world. After the death of Pope Adrian V on August 18, 1276, Peter was elected as the new Pope on September 8. He took on the name Pope John XXI and was crowned a week later on September 20. Despite his short reign, Pope John XXI made a significant decision by reversing a decree from the Second Council of Lyon. This decree had confined cardinals in solitude until they elected a new pope and restricted their supplies of food and wine if their deliberations took too long. During his papacy, Pope John XXI found himself under the influence of the powerful Cardinal Giovanni Gaetano Orsini, who would later become Pope Nicholas III. Despite this, John attempted to launch a crusade for the Holy Land and advocated for a union with the Eastern Church. He also worked towards maintaining peace between Christian nations and had plans to convert the Tatars, although he passed away before the mission could begin. To focus on his medical studies, Pope John XXI had an apartment added to the Papal Palace in Viterbo. This provided him with a quiet space where he could work undisturbed. However, tragedy struck on May 14, 1277, when the ceiling of his apartment collapsed. John was fortunate to be rescued alive, but his injuries proved to be fatal, possibly making him one of the earliest recorded cases of crush syndrome. Pope John XXI was laid to rest in the Duomo di Viterbo, where his tomb can still be seen today. The original sarcophagus made of porphyry was destroyed during a refurbishment in the 16th century. It was replaced with a more modest stone sarcophagus featuring the Pope's effigy. In the 19th century, the remains were transferred to a new sarcophagus sculpted by Filippo Naccarini. In 2000, the Lisbon City Council had a new funeral monument built, made of Laia's stone, and placed it in a more fitting location in the transept. Pope John XXI's brief papacy left a mark in history, not only for his actions as a pope but also for his tragic death. His attempts to promote peace, launch a crusade, and foster unity among Christian nations continue to inspire us today as we navigate the challenges of our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.